In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a flat tire on any e-bike. Thanks for tuning in on today's episodes of my e-bike series. We are talking about the Jetson Bolt Pro. This is the folding electric bike from Costco. And you all have been requesting me this video for a while now to show you how to fix a flat tire. Keep in mind, today's video is going to be how to fix a flat tire and prevent any punctures. But I'm still going to do another video in the future showing you all how to remove and replace the tires and tubes on this bike. We're gonna be using a product called Slime for today's video. This is a patented technology. This is pretty popular. They even use this in motorcycles and cars. So it is pretty versatile and works. Uh, you can pick this up from Amazon and I'll put a link down below for the product. And this really, you know, if, if your puncture is less than one eighth of an inch, which is three millimeter in size. So your common nails, spikes, uh, Anything that punctures your bike tires that are less than three millimeter, uh, it should work with this method. I'm gonna show you how to do it first and then I'm gonna tell you why it really works and why I would recommend you actually do this even if you don't have a puncture yet, just to prevent future punctures in your bike. So as far as the parts and tools go, all you need is this slime kit that comes with the tire kit right here. It comes with a, a pipe here to put all of this slime in the tire and then one additional thing you're going to need is a pump so i have a actually electrical pump that i use for my car tires but you can just use a mechanical pump that you have in your home and that is all you're going to need so let's get started so for this application you want to make sure that your valve cap is here at a top probably like one to two o'clock position uh, you can also have it at a 10 o'clock position here. It doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure that all the slime kind of makes its way through uh, and doesn't just stagnate here. Now remove your valve caps. And then your kit actually comes with this black pot on top. It has a little slit here. And what you're going to do is you are going to put this, align this here. And then you're going to turn towards the left. So just apply a little bit of force and then start turning towards the left. And then this part comes out. So now you can put the slime through here and you can leave this part, this pointy part on the tool. So just keep this safe somewhere. And now what you're gonna do is, there's instruction right here in the bottle. It tells you how to apply all of this, but that's what this video is all about. Now we're gonna take this pipe out and then don't forget, you have to remove this and take this plastic piece out from the top. Now, all you gotta do is put this here and then we're gonna connect it to the, the, the tip of the slime bottle and start pushing slime. And for this, they say about four ounces. So this is a 16 ounce bottle. So a quarter that we're gonna put on this tire. Before we start applying the slime, if you have any nails, you wanna remove it at this point and then make sure there is no air. So, so the tire is fully deflated at this point. Now you can just start putting the slime. I would say that's probably about a quarter. It is somewhere here. So we're gonna stop that's how easy it is. We're just gonna take this out. And now we can take that same kit which we used earlier and we're gonna put it in and this time we're gonna turn towards the right. Now when this is tight, that means you know that the tool is in and you remove it and everything is good to go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this a little bit just to make sure all the slime is rotating and you're just gonna grab your pump and start pumping air. So when you reach your appropriate pressure, you can just take your pump out and Make sure to put your valve cap back on. 
go ahead and take it for a spin, maybe do a couple of miles, and then make sure that the slime is all over your tube. This slime, the green liquid inside the slime has binders, fibers, and clogging agents all built inside it, and they essentially clog up any spaces that are escaping air. So how it works is let's say you are riding and then you get a nail, and then when you get a nail, there's that air void that it creates where the air wants to escape through that hole that the nail had created. So if you remove the nail or if the nail is still there, there's a little bit of air gap that the air wants to rush out. So when you apply a slime in your tire prior to the puncture or after the puncture, what happens is when the air is trying to leak from that hole, the clogging agent on the slime goes and plugs that hole. So in short, Slime just plugs your holes, no more air leaking. That means there is no punctures. You can continue riding your bike. So I think this product is great uh, to protect your tubes and tires from getting punctured. Uh, it could save you some money and resources and inconvenience of having a flat tire. So for that reason, I think this product is really great. It is super easy to apply as you saw earlier. And then you can get a lot of slime for a very reasonable price. So I highly recommend it. Uh, give it a try. As again, I, I said, I would recommend putting this in even before you get a puncture to prevent puncture on these tires. As I said in my intro, in my future video, I'm going to show you how to replace the tube and tire on this bike. I'm still doing some research. My goal is always to try to find you the best products for the most affordable pricing. So. I'm looking around, I'm gonna try to find you the best products. Again, affordable product that is easy to put on and I'll do a detailed video on, on how to do this. Uh, some of my future videos also include a new controller, controller upgrade, uh, as well as an ignition key where you can turn off the power on this bike and you can have a key so that folks can't just turn the power on and take your bike. Uh, but I'm gonna show you all step by step on how to do all of those projects. So stay tuned for all of those videos and please come back for another video soon in my channel. Thank you very much for your continuous support. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.